Hello and welcome. Today we're going to explore the history of 3D printing. 3D printing begins in 1984 with Charles Chuck Hull inventing stereolithography as well as the STL file format, both of which are still used to this day. Two years later, he goes on to found 3D Systems, one of the biggest companies in the 3D printing space, and one continuing to grow rapidly with many recent acquisitions. Also in 1986 is the invention of Selective Laser Sintering, or SLS, by Carl Descartes and Joe Biermann at the University of Texas. Fused Deposition Modeling, or FDM, is invented in 1988 by Scott Crump. Crump would found 3D Systems' biggest competitor, Stratasys, the following year. In 1993, 3DP was invented at MIT, which licenses the technology to several companies. Three years later, in 1996, some of the first 3D printers to use this technology come to market, 3D Systems Actua 2100 and Z Corporation Z402. Z Corp was acquired by 3D Systems in 2012 for $135.5 million. But 3D Systems' habit of buying other companies begins long before then, in 1997, when they buy a range of SLA printers from German competitor EOS for $3.25 million. Also in 97, Materialize, the first rapid prototyping service, started by Wilfred Vankren seven years prior, introduces an online service that provides next day prints. We also get the first printer that works in metal, using laser additive manufacturing provided by Aeromet. 1999 sees one of the first successful examples of bioprinting, when Anthony Attila and his team at the Institute for Regenerative Medicine at Wake Forest University School of Medicine create a lab printed bladder. Jumping to 2001, following an antitrust investigation by the U.S. Department of Justice, 3D Systems grows rapidly with the acquisition of DTM for $40 million, as well as Optiform and RPC. In 2002, our friends at Wake Forest University graduate from printing bladders to experimenting with printing kidneys and other more complex organs. In 2005, Dr. Adrian Bauer starts the open source RepRap project, whose goal is to create a 3D printer that can print most of its own components, thus replicating itself rapidly. Shapeways, the 3D printing service, marketplace, and community spins off of Philips in 2007. And in 2008, three years after its conception, the RepRap project releases its first successful printer, Darwin, which is able to print half of its own parts. The following year, one of RepRap's founding members, Zach Smith, and his partners Adam Mayer and Brie Patisse, found MakerBot Industries out of Brooklyn, New York. Inspired by RepRap, MakerBot ships its first do-it-yourself printer kit, the Cupcake, to hobbyists. MakerBot also launches Thingiverse, a website where modelers can upload and share their creations in order to give people something to print right off the bat. 3D printing also makes its film debut in Coraline, produced by Leica Animations. In 2010, Irby, a prototype car with an entirely 3D printed exterior, makes its debut. The same year also sees the first 3D printed blood vessels come out of bioprinting company Organovo. Organovo goes on to create the first feasible 3D printed liver, which can survive for up to 40 days. A delicious innovation in 3D printing is made in 2011, when a team at the University of Exeter invents a technique to 3D print in chocolate. On a less edible note, engineers at the University of Southampton also designed the first 3D printed aircraft, which doesn't even need tools to be assembled, its parts just snap together. In 2012, LayerWise, which was recently acquired by 3D Systems in September of this year, invents a titanium lower jaw implant, which replaces a senior patient's jaw. Since then, 3D printed bone replacements and orthopedics have boomed, with us seeing printed pelvises, skull plates, and even vertebra. Keeping up with 3D Systems acquisitions, Stratasys merges with the Object Geometries, creating a company with a total value of $1.4 billion, and they move to Object's home in Israel. In 2013, they also buy MakerBot in a move worth $403 million. Also, also in 2013, SpaceX, led by Elon Musk, announced they plan to send 3D printing into space with 3D printed parts on their rockets. As of today, tests of these parts have been incredibly successful. Coming into this year, we've seen tons of innovations and new uses for 3D printing. For one, on January 1st of this year, 3DP for E was founded. We've also had 3D printed fashions for many artists, with Francis Batanti's gowns being a real standout. 
3D printed food is also coming into its own with printers such as the Fudini and the F3D. Leaders in the industry have also begun to experiment with printing in materials like graphene and tungsten. And just a few months ago, New York City architect and contractor Adam Kushner began construction on an entire 3D printed estate, including a swimming pool and 2,400 square foot home. 3D printing has had an exciting past so far, but where things really start getting good is the future. We hope you'll join us there. Thanks for watching.